Good day everyone, I hope you are doing well and welcome to the F1 Corner. We are here today to discuss a topic that was brought up during the Spanish Grand Prix in Barcelona. The possible ban of party mode or multi-engine mode or overtake mode, whatever you want to call it. And how this could actually backfire, I believe, on the people who want to do that and the intentions behind it. So uh, first let's start by defining uh, what we are talking about uh, and before we start please remember to hit the like button and yeah so what is party mode or overtake mode? I, what's happening here is that probably all the teams uh, Mostly Mercedes, from what we know, because they're the one who started it. But we, we can just generalize: have multiple engine mode that they can use to give more or less power to the driver to uh, during the race or during quality. And you probably heard it in the past uh, during uh, qualification uh, on the radio telling Lewis Hamilton that he can use party mode or during the race uh, someone telling a driver okay you have overtake available and what this is is uh, a, a different engine setup that allows you to have a bit more power for a short amount of time or actually if you leave it on all the time you'll have more power for the whole race but it's also tougher on the engine and not good for reliability. And what's happening here is that this engine mode, this multi-engine issue, obviously started with, uh, I think it's Mercedes that started it at first, quite a few years ago. They're the first one who had this boost of engine power that they were able to use during qualification. and. Other teams started implementing it, so it's not like it's an unfair advantage at this point. They say that during qualification, party mode could give uh, some teams like Mercedes up to a one second boost, though this is debatable because we don't know the exact change in power, but when you look at the available data. There's an interesting video on the uh, Formula One official channel about that. You can see that during some part of the qualification lap, for example, the engine is using a lot more power, have a lot more power than during a normal uh, lap. And now what the FIA wants to do is to ban this practice which is basically to have yeah multiple engine setup that you are able to use at different moments of uh, the race and qualification session and uh, you know just change as you go on the fly depending on what you need and what they want to do now is to put on a rule that all right during practice pick you can try all the different engine modes that you want, we don't care. But during qualification and during the race, you select one engine mode and you stick with it for the rest of the weekend. The goal behind this idea is obviously to slow down a little bit the Mercedes, who are just really in front of everyone else at this moment but this could very well backfire in some way because let's let's think about it for a moment let's suppose and it's probably the case that every team on the grid have party mode or an overtake mode or whatever you want to call it so let's let's call it party mode for the sake of this video. Well, who, ha who has it for sure? All the Mercedes uh, powered teams. So Mercedes, uh, Racing Point, uh, who else has Mercedes engine? Uh, Williams. 
So for sure they have that with the same power as the Mercedes factory team because it's the same power unit. And other teams, for sure, we think they have it. We don't know to what extent, to what, what type of power. But if you remove that, you have to pick one engine mode for the whole weekend. Well, now it gets down a little bit to reliability, uh, which is the first argument I'm going to put on here. If you are a Mercedes that had no engine failure in 2019 and I believe maybe one in 2018 and this year still going strong and no power unit issue, you obviously have a more reliable engine than your contenders. Which means that you can allow yourself to power it up a little bit more to, uh, during the race, during quality, because you know it will be safe. And the Mercedes power unit is also probably the best at the moment on the grid. Uh, for knowing that Ferrari has gone down this year and that Renault and Honda are still missing a little bit in terms of raw power so already you start if everyone is equal mercedes seems to already start at the top and now if you remove a potential boost that some teams might be doing better than mercedes we don't know well then you have mercedes who is the strongest and you try to level the playing field but because the other teams have potentially less reliable engine or less powerful engine over, uh, overall, they cannot allow themselves to use this extra bit of power for the whole weekend instead, because they, this will result in engine failure. And Mercedes will just keep flying away maybe even more and the Mercedes power team will know that. And Someone is painting lines on the grass. So yeah, the Mercedes power team will just have an advantage even still because they will have more power. They will allow themselves to use more power because of reliability. And this is potentially a bad thing because now uh, we don't want Mercedes to go farther ahead, but this could, could bring all three Mercedes team toward the top. Which, I mean, for Williams, I think everyone will argue it's not a bad thing. But Racing Point, which is already under scrutiny, and Mercedes that we want to slow down, it would, they will just be even faster than the others. And other argument I want to use here is also uh, for the show on track like i just taking an example here let's say you are uh, uh lando norris behind uh i don't know daniel ricardo and the battle is heating up heating up and now you you are stuck you are lando you are stuck behind daniel and just try to passing but it's it's not working and then there's only a few laps left in the race and the team knows that the engine will be fine they allow you to use overtake mode that will probably allow you to overtake ricardo or at the very least you know have a very good battle with him not just being stuck behind and unable to do a move and vice versa for uh, Ricardo or whoever's the other car if they can use this extra bit of power on their own side and also depending where they want to use it because it cannot it can be also just for a few corners or not the whole lap so I think yeah, this is something that, even though I understand that they want to slow down Mercedes, 
for the overall of the grid this could be a bad thing for the overall of the show on track this could be a bad thing and you know it's just that at this point we we know that Mercedes has more raw power if they're more reliable they're gonna use it and just gonna keep going be on top and potentially even more than they are now because they also have a very good car in itself so tell me what you think uh, leave a comment should we ban party mode multi-engine mode should we uh, maybe find a rule somewhere in between and because uh, this is a, it's a tricky topic and you know if things stay as they are right now sooner or later the other teams will catch up to Mercedes it's just a matter of when and yeah I just honestly I, even though I, I want personally Mercedes to slow down I don't want to lose the, the show on track and that would be very sad I think so thank you for watching everyone, please subscribe and hit this like button, leave a comment, tell me what you think and I will see you very soon with another F1 vlog and remember next week is the Belgian Grand Prix in Spa-Francorchamps.